What I'm going to show here is how to control fur flexing or any other channel for that matter with the proximity MA locator. So I've already got a subdivided plane here and as you can see I also have a material applied to these polygons. First things first, let's add a fur material. So you can see now I've got in the OpenGeo viewport some spline guides or splines for the uh, the fibers and let's take note under first shape flex this is the channel that we want to control um, and to control it we need to add a gradient so let's go into processing gradient right and you can see immediately the color is changed of those guides so if we turn that off you can see they go down to a slightly uh, lighter gray. Turn it back on, it goes to white. That's all fine and dandy. Let's edit that gradient here for the color just to demonstrate what's going on. And at 100% and 0, let's go ahead and mill click. Make sure we actually get the value of 0 in there. So you can see those fibers are now black. Right? Let's change this input parameter over here to it's under sample parameters to distance to locator. So now if we move that locator, you'll see that those fibers are going from black to white. The closer the fiber is to the locator, the brighter the color. So now that we know that that's working, that's all dandy. Um, but since the fur flex function doesn't, uh, doesn't use RGB, uses a, a different kind of value, which I am at present trying to blink, uh, not that it matters, but, uh, let's use the, the value of that. So go back to the gradient, set the value and we'll go over to one meter and at 0% mill click. Try and get that all lined up. There we go. So now what we want to do is make it so that the flex function is controlled by this input parameter here, distance to locator, and uses this gradient. To do that, it's uh, you should probably guessed it by now if you use Moto. Go to the gradient layer, and under effect, right click, and under fur change this to fur flex. So now it's no longer controlling the color, it's actually controlling the fur flex. And the further away, if we go to a side view here, in fact, let's just close that. If you go to the side view here, you can see the closer it gets to those fibers, the more they're affected. And you can use the gradient to actually control the area of effect a little bit better. So if we drag that over, we'll set that at about half. So now the nearest fibers are being affected more than the fibers further away. As you can see, we drag that along there. Those fibers are being affected much more. So that's really it. Not much to it. Now, if you wanted to add other functions in there, for example, um, like noise, channel noise, or something like that, you'd still use the um, the node editor, in my opinion. You just plug it in like you had it there, Gideon, and it should work. In theory, of course. I haven't really messed with that just yet. Um, so, that's that. Hope I helped. Catch you later.